Welcome to Kit's Rock Review, and today it's one o'clock, and it's time for lunch. Dum de dum de dum de dum. That means today, on the thirteenth day of our month-long tribute to the band Genesis, we are going to return to the album "Selling England by the Pound." I figured since yesterday. We talked about the band's first American hit. Today we'll talk about the band's first British hit. So, why don't we take a look at the album cover to Selling England by the Pound. I'll put as close to the screen as I can. This album cover is by a British artist. Let me get her name straight. Her name is Betty Swanwick. She was a British artist. Uh, she was active in the 30s and the 50s. The band contracted her to create a uh, a picture for the cover of 1973's Selling England by the Pound, and she actually said she didn't believe she had time, because it, when she does a painting, it takes her like 200 hours to do a painting. But she gave them this painting, which is called The Dreamer, and at the band's request, I don't know if you can see it, but right here she added a lawnmower to the cover art. And that lawnmower is in reference to a song on this album called I Know What I Like, which is the second song on side one of the album. And that song was also released as a single by Genesis's record label. And it went all the way to number 23 in the UK charts, becoming the band's first top 40 hit in Britain. Um, the music of that song started as a jam between Steve Hackett and Phil Collins, and then after Peter Gabriel heard it, he added some more musical ideas to it and wrote the lyrics for the song. Um, the band has said that after as they were developing it, they were trying to sound like later period Beatles, you know, the uh, sort of Sgt. Pepper, Magical Mystery Tour, White Album, the Yellow Submarine-ish version of the Beatles. And, you know, it's got a very psychedelic feel to it. Um, musically, you'll also notice in the song when you watch it in the comments, watch the video in the comments, you'll hear it starts out with a moan, and that moan is Tony Banks. He had his Mellotron keyboard, and he found the lowest note he could, and he just hit it to simulate the sound of a lawnmower. And the reason he's simulating the sound of the lawnmower is because, lyrically, the song is about uh, a groundskeeper, a young man who's a groundskeeper, and he has no ambition in life. He's happy with what he does. He just wants to mow lawns the rest the rest of his life and just enjoy what he does. That's what the song is about. And the song also makes reference, believe it or not, to the band Genesis in a, in a different way. One of the lyrics is, Over the Garden Wall, Two Little Lovebirds. And uh, the name Garden Wall is the name of an early band, a pre-Genesis band, that uh, Tony Banks and Mike and Tony Banks and uh, Peter Gabriel were in before Genesis formed. So this song, actually, you know, being their first British hit, became a mainstay of the uh, Genesis set list throughout the years. I know it was played through most of the Peter Gabriel tours, and even after Peter Gabriel left, I know it was played in '76 on their '76 tour. I know it was played in '80. And I definitely know it was played in 2007 because that's when I saw them and they played uh, Over the Garden, or they played uh, I Know What I Like. And during that time, they took it on the video screen behind them. They had pictures from the band's early days. So I'm going to put the vi a video for the song in comments. You let me know what you think of the song. And tomorrow, we'll return with another in our uh, month-long tribute to the band Genesis. Genesis. Until then, everyone, keep on rocking in the free world, and I'll see you later.